hurricane season starts in just two days on June the 1st, and it's expected to be unusually active. This morning, we're getting an inside look at a hurricane simulator that researchers say can help improve forecasts and do what? Save lives. That's the point, right? Xavier Walton got to see it all firsthand, and he's joining us now from Key Biscayne, Florida. Xavier, this is extremely critical, especially considering the potential for severe storms. And, and that's why it really is so important. I know it looks like I'm in some sort of industrial warehouse, but this is what it takes to recreate Mother Nature's fury. Over here, you have a wind turbine, 1,400 horsepower. It's sucking in the air from outside. It funnels in all the way into this test tank. We turned on the waves just a little bit. That is absolutely nothing. All of this potentially saving lives. Oh. It sounded like a freight train. Oh. This is no joke. The power of Mother Nature bottled up into a giant wave pool. So we've climbed down into a one of a kind test tank that can recreate a category five hurricane. Let's see what it can do. This is the main power switch. That lever turning on the powerful turbines at a speed of 160 miles per hour. In two minutes, our News Nation GoPro capturing what scientists say is a category two hurricane with sustained winds around 100 miles per hour. After just four minutes, the test tank simulating a Cat 5 hurricane. As winds and waves calm down, with all that warm water out there, Dr. Brian House, department chair at the University of Miami Rosenstill School, is here to explain why this one of a kind simulator has never been more important. The increasing temperatures of the ocean causing all kinds of ecological damage, the increased threat of the hurricanes coming in this year. NOAA forecasting 17 to 25 named storms this hurricane season. Scientists believe 8 to 13 of those will become hurricanes. Forecasters calling for 4 to 7 major hurricanes which means category three or higher. With this, we can make the models better. So science and research you're doing here could actually be used this hurricane season. If you get a better forecast, they're not going to set it on the sidelines oh, yeah. and, and not look at it next year. All right, so what we did, we were on the other side. We made our way down the ladder and then came up two flights of stairs. And I wanted to show you this because those little sensors is what we couldn't show inside a lab. It collects data. That data then goes right here into the computer, that's where the researchers and the scientists, what they do is they're better able to, to fine tune that data and then Anna more accurately predicts storms, where they're going, how strong they're going to be, even sometimes storm surge. But that's why it is so important, the work they're doing here at the University of Miami Rosenstiel School. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.